hello and welcome to a new video this video is all about clan studio 5.0 beta that recently came out there's been a lot of confusion about what this is and why there's so much talk about this specific update compared to other updates that have been coming so far so here we are on the website for Clan studio 5.0 and the first thing that you need to understand is that it is not an update but instead it is a rewrite or a reboot if that helps you understand it better so this is basically them rewriting lens studio from scratch so if you go down on this page we will see a small summary of basically the announcement of how they are creating a new software and how they have been wanting to create a new software uh, that will help developers ar developers work in a better way and they haven't given you all the details but there is enough to understand that they are trying to give us a better software but this is not the public version yet this is not the stable version yet this is just the beta version and the purpose of this beta version is to get feedback from developers so the build you get from lens studio 5.0 beta is not complete yet there are a lot of missing features a lot of bugs and from the feedback that they get from this beta they're going to improve it and release a full version sometime early next year i'll link this in the description so you can read it for yourself some of the key features that they're highlighting is projects are now 18 times faster which is basically lens studio launches faster and it is faster to work on projects if you remember lens studio older versions you would remember that lens studio is very resource intensive your computer starts lagging it takes a lot of time to even launch lens studio if you're working on a slow computer and with lens studio 5.0 oh, they're trying to solve this problem now if you read here it says that a project used to take 25 seconds whereas now it only takes a couple of seconds so the next feature that they're talking about is the generative ai the generative ai section has a lot of features i plan to make a fully dedicated video on what those generative AI features are and how you can use them properly with some prompt engineering tips and a cheat sheet that you can use basically to give you an overview there is face mask generation there is texture generation and there is PBR generation that is physics based rendering material there is PBR generation as well and the next thing that comes up is the chat GPT API that is a large language model which you can implement into your lens here they're giving you two examples of what those lenses are one is basically giving the lens a prompt and it creating a facial expression and an environment based on that prompt the second one is basically knowledge pool where you ask a question and you get an answer generated for the chat gpt api because this is just an overview of what lens studio 5.0 is i won't talk about it more but i also plan to make a video on what that api is and what it is capable of at least the basics of it so you can make a chat gpt based lens on your own like I was talking about earlier, here is the PBR generation. For this, they have partnered with Meshi, which is a startup that uses AI to generate material and 3D meshes. In case of Lens Studio, you will be able to generate PBR materials for three basic shapes within Lens Studio, and you can provide it with an external mesh that it can create a PBR material for that you can use. Now, coming to another feature of Lens Studio 5.0 Beta, it is more quality of life features. Basically, it is, for example, creating multiple instances. If you remember or have used older versions of Lens Studio, you will know that creating more than one instance of Lens Studio is not possible. If you wanted to copy something from one project into another project, you would have to export it and then re-import it into another project. So what this allows you to do is have two instances open and work simultaneously between them. And apart from this, there are a lot of changes to the UI and user experience angle as well. And if you want an in-depth dive into what Lens Studio 5.0 is capable of, you can go into the developer guide and it will give you more details about what Lens Studio 5.0 is capable of. This video is basically for those who are confused about what this update is, why everyone is talking about it. Because this is basically the reinvention of what Lens Studio is. This comes with a lot of good features, but it also comes with a lot of limitations. For example, you cannot work with projects that you have created in Lens Studio 5.0 with older versions or vice versa. But starting from 5.0, you can create lenses a lot more efficiently and it solves a lot of the problems that old Lens Studio used to have. Now, if you come back to this page, you'll see the download button. You click on it, it'll show you the 4.55 version. But if you want to get the beta version, you just need to scroll down. It'll show you the beta version that you can download. 
can already see that we are on to 5.0.1 that is a lot of the feedback that developers gave the early access developers gave were implemented and that new update was launched for 5.0 and for example for a quick test of lens 5.0 let's do a quick face mask let's go into face let's do a face mask and let's go into asset browser generative ai we'll do face mask generation now let's quickly create um say a fox and i'll add a characteristic um uh, old oil i can't type old oil painting i'll hit enter and it'll start generating and you can see there is a seed there is negative prompt i will dive into all of those things when i make a specific video talking about how generative ai works in lens 5.0 and what you can do to make it work better for you for example how to engineer a good prompt to get exactly what you're looking for now we have this mask here now if i hit apply it will import it into our asset browser and i'll go to my face mask you can see a face mask texture i'll drag this and drop this here as you can see it applied to the face face mask generation is a generative ai that is specifically trained to create face mask textures so yeah that was a quick overview of what into the 5.0 is and what you can expect when you download the beta i will create extensive videos talking about the chat gpt api and the generative ai features in lens 5.0 and i will also talk about how you can use them to create really good lenses even if you're someone who's a beginner so yeah that's it for now and i'll see you in the next one